Um, Marcus, you're looking genuinely despondent and, and rightly so. Um, did did Ketch and Town do enough today or, or were Colville genuinely worthy winners today? Um, I think actually, if anything, we probably got a little bit complacent. Uh, I think we were too comfortable. Um, lack of concentration during the first half led to uh, the penalty. Um, and then uh, I think they had a, a good chance just shortly after that. And then it sort of we we sort of coasted through the first half, um, threatening. Um, and then in probably the last 10, 15 minutes really put a bit of pressure on and, and got the deserved equaliser. Second half pretty much the same. I think we were pretty much coasting all the way through. Looked co you know comfortable. We weren't overly exerting ourselves. Um, uh, we were dealing with the opposition. Uh, then we sort of stumbled into a 2-1 lead from a fantastic uh, touch by Aaron. Um, great bit of play and um, Marcus obviously following up the rebound. Um, and yeah, yeah, we were just like sort of just comfortable. Um, and then they've uh, they had a good passage of play to lead to um, the, the second goal where they've overloaded us one side. Um, and then we just seemed to step it up a wee bit. Then we looked like we were putting them under pressure. Looked like um, it was uh, we, we, we're going to go through um, get something. We keepers made a good save off Aaron. Um, Aaron's played a great ball through, but really should have left it for Marcus. I'll, sh I'll show you the photo. The Brett is the tackle of the game. Brett tackling yeah, Marcus. Uh, you'd have put your house on Marcus in that position there and then um, you know the sort of uh, you know our uh, Achilles heel um, is um, dealing with uh, you know uh, big players and um, you know they've put a ball in the box and we haven't dealt with it and they've got on the end of it which is you know it's turned uh, into the winning goal for them which is a bit frustrating uh, we can't really complain at last minute goals because we've had our fair share uh, we've been on a good run seven wins on the bounce um, I think uh, anyone realistically knows we weren't going to go between um, the um, since the Biggleswey game, win every game to the end of the season. We know what we need to do. We know what points we need to achieve. Do we believe we can get it? Yes. Uh, we just got to bounce back Saturday now. Um, you know, just to, the result shows you uh, that how football you can still be vulnerable, um, and that we've got to keep the concentration levels for 90 minutes. Um, maybe just the, the long journey from Saturday, the the 10 men effort. We we just weren't, weren't quite at the the biting level that we we've been accustomed to of late. So um, I'm not going to dig the lads out too much because uh, we've been on a fantastic run. Um, I just want us to bounce back like we did after the Biggleswear game. No, yeah, don't dig the players out. But uh, do you think potentially some decision making is is gone a bit awry or a bit of discipline maybe has, has crept in? Uh, no, no, I just think a lack of concentration. We've um, we've given away a, a lunging tackle that then led to a, a sloppy tackle for the penalty, uh, silly free kick uh, right at the end. You know, you take them two out of the way and it's two one. So um, it was. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing, um, but we've just got to keep it all into its uh, context. You're about Aaron O'Connor now for three games. Mm -hmm. um, how are you looking at that? Maybe Reese up front, he did so well on his own for the start of the season. You've got yeah, a quality we, man we, in Dan Holman. We've got plenty of options. We, we, you know, we're obviously, losing Aaron is a loss because of his quality and his ability. Um, but have we got personnel who can step in? Yes. Excellent, and, and, and likely to get the likes of Ben Mills back in, and, and we've just seen yeah, Ben Toes and more pass. You know, he must be absolutely champing at the bit. You know, you, you, you're going to need to go deep in, in the squad you have. Yeah, well, well we've got the players there, and um, you know, it's, it's as disappointing as it is tonight. Uh, it's not the end of the world. There's still plenty of uh, games to go out. We, we know what the target we need, and have we got the squad to do it? Well, yeah, it's proven because where we're sitting in the table.